In this worked example, I'd like to show you how you actually go about measuring a redshift. So let's imagine we found some galaxy somewhere and we've obtained the spectrum of it. So as usual, a spectrum has a wavelength along here and flux per unit wavelength up here. So you can see the spectrum peaks around here, gently drops off, but it's got a whole bunch of absorption lines which we can hopefully use to measure the redshift. So one tool we need is a reference list to tell us what lines are likely to happen. And here is one. A copy of this is provided for you. This is a spectrum of something like our own sun. And what we can see is the pattern over here looks similar to the pattern over there. In particular, there are two lines near 400 nanometers. Like you guys here, two lines near 400 nanometers. There's one line just above 650, another one just above 500. All in all, the pattern here and the pattern there look very similar. So that's telling us right away that this galaxy seems to be made up of roughly sun-like stars, and they have all the normal absorption lines. It's telling us we've got calcium, so that's a calcium line, CH here. It's also telling us the redshift is not very big because the, so the wavelengths we're measuring here, so just below 400, match the wavelengths here, also just below 400 nanometers. Now on this scale, it would be very hard to actually measure a redshift, so we need to zoom in. So here's a zoom in of the two calcium lines. These two lines here zoomed in. And what you can see, uh, let's take this line. The middle of this line will be mm, somewhere around here, which is about 394.1 nanometers, roughly. We also know from the chart that the laboratory wavelength of that line the laboratory wavelength for that line is 393.3 nanometers. So the shift, delta lambda, is 394.1 minus 393.3 equals 0.8 nanometers. The redshift, written as z, is defined as delta lambda over the lab wavelength, so that's 0.8 over 393.3, which is 0.002. That's our redshift. Using the Doppler effect equation, we can work out what speed this corresponds to. Now the velocity is equal to the redshift times the speed of light. So that's 0.002 times 300,000 kilometers per second, which is 600 kilometers per second. So that's how fast this thing is moving. Is it going towards us or away from us? You can see that the line has shifted from where it would have been there if it had been rest wavelength in the laboratory to over here. It's moved to a longer wavelength to the red, so it's a red shift, so it's receding from us, moving away.